Mr. King, a.k.a. Mr. Get Your Tank Top Red. Coming to you fine people today with a, a video request. I had quite a few people ask me, so, hey, why don't you talk about nutrition? How do you talk about nutrition? Okay, I'm actually going to talk about nutrition today, what you guys need to do to get tank top ready. All right, before you get started, there's two things that's going to be required, okay? If you don't do these two things, don't even bother. Don't even try to attempt it unless you do these two things. Number one, you have to commit for 30 days. I need 30 days of commitment. Basically, you know, no alcohol on the weekends. Uh, you got to track all your food for 30 days so you can start a new habit, all right? The next thing I basically said was you're going to have to start tracking your food. Food must be tracked. It's no way. It's no guesses, no eyeballing. You have to track your food. And I can tell you now, tracking your food is definitely going to require a food scale. A food scale will be required to, to track your food. Uh, protein is going to be very important. So keep that in mind. So first thing first, people say, well, okay, waking up in the morning, what should I do? First thing you need to do, you need to start drinking water. All of us, we need to get at least... Uh, a gallon is not going to happen right away, so start with a half a gallon, then try to work your way up to a whole gallon daily. That is number one on your road when it comes to nutrition. Next, what you want to do, we want to talk about your lifestyle, okay? Your lifestyle is going to be very important. Okay, if you have a sit-down job when you go uh, basically to work, you don't need as many carbohydrates because you're not really using a, a bunch of a fuel source. For most people, I would recommend try your best to drink water and try to skip that breakfast if you can. Now, you can have a healthy snack. Healthy snack for me meaning you can have like almonds and cashews because that is our good fats and you're going to measure it and make sure that you're only getting an ounce of it. And that's going to hold you over to lunchtime. Because you don't really need a whole lot of, of, of an energy source because if you have a sit-down job, you're not really using a, a, a lot. So keep that in mind. If you can avoid the early morning, just the breakfast grind, you know, to keep yourself in more of a fasted state, please do. Just get you like uh, some cashews, some almonds, and drink uh, a plenty of water. Then if uh, lunchtime comes, that's when you want to get your carbohydrates and you want to get your, your nice heavy protein, okay? Protein meaning that you're going to get you some 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 type of meat, chicken, fish, uh, steak, but measure. Everything that you eat is going to be measured. Your carbohydrate source can come from sweet potatoes. It can come from regular potatoes. It can come from regular rice, brown rice. It won't matter because you're definitely going to need that energy to kick you through the rest of your work day, even if you're sitting on, have a sit down job. All right. So now after you've had this nice lunch, high protein, you know, moderate carbohydrates, you need to get you a protein shake. This is what you need to make sure you're getting that extra protein because what we do in the past, I know people would snack on chips, uh, they would get a soda, a candy bar. Now you actually take matter of your own hand and you're going to get you a protein shake. That protein shake is, is going to give you the protein you need and going to give you energy you need if you're going to work out in the afternoon. All right, so now you're going home. You got to keep in mind now uh, also that you're not going to be using a lot of this uh, energy when you go home. So high protein meal, nice veggies with a moderate carbohydrate. I mean, the uh, problem is most of us, what we do, we reach for the carbohydrates first. We go for the bread, we go for the pastas, we go for all that type of stuff. Go for your meat sources first. That's going to make you feel full a lot faster. And what we have is, I know a lot of people have significant others, and so they got they got to be with the family, so they got to eat with the family. My suggestion is if you know you're going to eat with the family, you kept everything in check in the morning, you kept everything in check at lunchtime, you're going to eat with the family, you have to measure your food, and I'm going to give you a simple way to measure your food. Let's just say uh, spaghetti was on the menu that night, all right? So, you know, you're eating the spaghetti, but you're not going to get a regular plate. You're going to grab a saucer. And you're not going to have it spewing all off the outside. This will keep your, uh, your basically your consumption in check. A lot of people, what they do, they make a regular plate and let things get away from them. So that will kind of keep you in, in check if you have like a saucer. And another important note that, like I said, 
It's no magic to the weight loss and getting every, all the results you're looking for. But one thing that is magical that is, I've seen that's happened the last couple of years, you can grab your phone and you can pretty much get an app, put the app on your phone, and you could pretty much scan a barcode on a lot of this food. You can put your food in and know exactly how many fats you're getting, how many carbohydrates you get, how much protein you get, and you pretty much measure everything that way. That has made a big difference as far as keeping up when it deals with your nutrition. So we really have no excuses at this point because we have something that's going to track everything for us. That's also going to tell us uh, how many calories we're supposed to be taking in daily. It also tells us what our rest of metabolic rate is, basically what we're going to burn daily without our exercise. So, you know, that's basically what the magic has come from when it deals with uh, weight loss. Now, let's just say you're somebody who, who has a, a, a very steady go job. You're always on the move. Let's say you work in a plant. You could be a waiter, waitress, whatever the case may be. You could be a construction worker. You're going to need that at a carbohydrate source in the morning. And I would strongly recommend that you get get you some uh, oatmeal, but just don't have oatmeal by itself. Get you put you some protein actually in your uh, oatmeal. Get you some protein powders. Put some protein powders in there. And just like uh, the people who are not actually uh, doing a, a strenuous job, also have you a little snack. Have you some uh, almonds, cashews. You, you want to have those good fats for hormone support. And it'll hold you over because you're going to burn a lot of calories. So if you burn that many calories, you got to make sure that you're going to have enough energy to get through. Lunchtime should be about the same. You should you should go a little bit heavier with your with your carbohydrates. Uh, you should be uh, nice with your with your protein. You got to keep all this in mind that you're basically using a lot of energy on your job. Everybody who's doing those those strenuous jobs, you know who you are. I've had one of those jobs before, so I know exactly what you're working with. All right. Now, the thing about it is, keep in mind, you're going to be very hungry when you get off of work because you basically did a workout while you was on your job. This is when you keep everything in check. As opposed to you going and go get you this, this light meal or you want to go hurt and get something to eat, instead of one uh, protein powder, uh, you get you two scoops of this protein. You want to make sure you get two servings of this protein. Then you want to go work out. Now, when you go home, what you want to do you want to get heavy protein. You definitely want to get your veggies, but I want you to have a slow digesting carbohydrate because you're going to need that, that energy source going to the next day. You need to lean more towards your sweet potatoes. You need to lean, lean more towards uh, your brown rices. All right. Now, for all of you who say I have a sweet tooth, real simple, get you some rice cakes. They, they Rice cakes are different. I mean, I'm somebody who was was young in the 80s. I remember when my mom used to die and those rice cakes used to taste like cardboard. Those days are long gone. They have apple cinnamon. They have caramel. They have chocolate. They have all these different flavors. And basically, it helps with your sweet tooth. And I tell a lot of my clients, I say, you remember the Crunch and Munch. If you take the uh, caramel uh, rice cakes and you mix it with the almonds, it'd be tasting like 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 crunching much. And I always had that joke with them. But you have to find alternative ways. And for the people who had that that soda desire, because I was someone who suffered a long time ago from drinking a lot of sodas, you got to find your alternative. They make a lot of uh, zero uh, calorie uh, sodas and drinks. Can't drink too much because you got to deal with aspartame. But they do have those uh, drinks that you put in your water. They are, are, are basically, they haven't sent for people who like to have flavor when it comes to pretty much everything they drink. Now, <clears throat> you have to apply all of this. I can say this. I can tell everybody, hey, this is what you need to do. But you have to apply this yourself. You have to understand that you're in control of everything that you're going to put in your mouth and you're going to drink. You're going to have to have that willpower to tell your friends, hey, I can't go out this weekend. Or tell your significant other, hey, I can't be hanging out. I can't be going to the restaurants. I can't go indulge in a buffet this weekend. And you also got to understand if you do go out to a restaurant, do not let it be the first thing that you grab be the rolls on the table. The first thing you need to be grabbing, you need to grab your water. And then when you order a, a, a meal, your entree, make sure that it is heavy in protein. Instead of the regular chicken, get you two of the chicken breasts. Instead of just a regular four-ounce steak, get you a six- to eight-ounce steak. You have to make sure that you're going to stay full 
so you don't get rid of those cravings. Because if your stomach's staying full, it's going to be hard for you to really have any hunger pings. And it's just the regular cravings. And they have alternatives, like I say, things you can do to help also with that sweet tooth. Now, I want you guys to like. I want you guys to subscribe. And most of all, I want you guys to do what you got to do to get tank top ready. But remember over here, don't worry about them you going blind. Just load up the damn way.